Rest of blue sky Tell us why You had to hide away for so long Where did we go wrong? Mr. Blue Sky Tell us why Look at my little sophomore! How are you feeling about your first day of school? It's the first day of school, how good can I be? Ah, sophomore's always the worst year. But you'll get through it. Junior year's next year, you get to start thinking about college. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, there's gonna be a new student at school this year. That's interesting, new student. Can't wait to meet her. Well, I hope you two get along. Okay, I'll try. But anyways, I gotta go, my bus is coming. Mr. Blue Sky, tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Riley, Jesse, girl, it has been too long. Girl, I cannot spend two and a half months away from my best friend. Anyways, what's up with you? What's new? Well, you're not gonna believe this. I got a girlfriend. No way. Tell me more. How'd you meet? What happened? How? Well, summer camp. I knew it couldn't be one of the kids in our class. We're probably the only queer ones here. Her name is Sophia and she's absolutely awesome. Oh my god, I am so proud of you, girl. Now we just gotta get you a girl. Me? I'm gonna be forever alone with my goldfish. Settle down, class. Settle down. Thank you. Now, we have a new student. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Cora Ray. Cora has moved here all the way from California. You know, you'd think in sophomore year she'd stop treating us like kids. Anyways, Cora, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about you. Hey guys, I'm Cora. I like Star Wars and Harry Potter and Avengers and... Uh, Did she just yeah. say California she likes Star Wars cool, and Harry Potter and Marvel? We got invited to lunch. Jessie, the new girl just walked in. You should totally ask her to come sit with us. I don't know, it's just so out there. I'm not really an out there kind of person. Fine. Yo, new girl, you wanna come sit with us? Sure. Yo, I'm Riley. This here is my friend Jesse. Hey. Cool, I'm Cora. I saw you two in English class. You two look like pretty good buds. We heard in class that you like Star Wars. Yeah, I love Star Wars. After the first day of school, we always come back to my place and watch Star Wars. We were wondering if you wanted to join us. I'm flattered, honestly, but unfortunately I have a prior commitment. Too bad. Yeah, that really is too bad. Next time? Yeah, next time. See, that wasn't that hard, was it? I mean, of course she wouldn't want to come with us. We're complete strangers to her. Jeez, Jesse, stop being such a Demi Downer. Get that Death Star loop, get it! I shouldn't have even asked. It was stupid anyways. Blast it to a million pieces! Kill it, kill the entire Death Star. Hey Riley, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be jumping on the couch like that. You got it, you got it, what? Riley! I can't believe you sprained your wrist watching Star Wars. There's a first for everything, my young Padawan. Yeah, next time wait for Han to interfere before you get all crazy like that. Will do. Oh my god, Riley. Sophia, you're here. Of course I'm here. I came as soon as I could have. Are you alright? Well, that's my cue to leave. Do you want anything at the snack bar? Uh, yes, actually. Can you get me some fries? Okay, I'll be right back. Hi, can I have a medium fry and a strawberry milkshake, please? Cora? Hey, Jesse, what are you doing here? Uh, Riley sprained her wrist while watching Star Wars. Wow, I didn't know someone could do that. Yeah, Riley is a girl with many talents. You two aren't together, are you? Oh god, no. Uh, we're just friends. Okay, yeah. Cool. But, like, do you like girls? Yeah, occasionally. Right, yeah. Same. Right. Right. Yeah. Cora, dear, they need you for your- Mom, uh, this- this here is, uh, Jessie from school. You've made a friend? Oh my god, hi! I'm Cora's mother! Anyways, Cora, they need you now, so, uh, should probably get going. What do they need you for? Oh, it's nothing. But, uh, I'll see you around. Yeah. 
Wait, tomorrow. Me and Jesse are gonna watch Avengers over at my place. I can text you the address if you wanna go. Yeah, I think I'm free then. I'll see you guys there. Great. See you then. Great. See you then. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> hey Riley, I got your fries. Why are you smiling? What? I'm not smiling about anything. Yeah, right. What happened down there? Well, I ran into Cora, but... Oh my god, you like her. Just because I ran into someone and I'm smiling about them and I really like them doesn't mean that I like them. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm right. And she may have agreed to come watch Avengers with us tomorrow? Of course. You like her. Get him, Cap. Come on. Avengers assemble. Hulk smash. Riley, why'd you pause it? I gotta use the bathroom. My favorite part's coming up. I'm not gonna miss that. Okay, fine. Make it quick. Honey, I have a wrist brace. It ain't gonna be fast. So, Cora, why'd you move here? Uh, my mom got a job here. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, right. Tell me you haven't felt this. I'm sorry, what? Whenever I'm around you, I feel a sort of connection. I think I like you. And I hope you like me too. I feel it too. I've just never seen someone so upfront about liking someone. We've known each other, what, two days? Yeah, I know. I'm being pretty upfront right now. It's just, I can't afford to mess around. We're like 16. That's the point of being 16, to mess around, to make mistakes. Well, if this is a mistake, then I guess I'm willing to make it. You're sweet. Well, that took shorter than expected. What, your bathroom trip? Nah. You two getting together. That's freaking cute. I made that happen. No, you didn't. Nah, if it wasn't for my bathroom break, this wouldn't have happened. You guys should thank me. We're not going to, Riley. We're not going to. Hmm. Any predictions made now are just going to be wrong or not have the full story. I mean, yeah, but those predictions look so cool and real. Hey guys, did you ever consider entering the holiday talent show? Uh, no actually, because someone didn't want to. I was just a little scared. Come on, it'd be fun. Come on, Jess, we can sing one of those 80s songs you really like. Sounds like a plan. Okay, fine. Besides, I won't be that nervous. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. What was I thinking? It's fine. We'll do great. Great? We're gonna do great? Are you kidding? We're gonna fail. Hey, we're not gonna fail. We've practiced for two months. We're gonna be great. How do you know that? How do you know we're not gonna fail and everyone's gonna laugh at us and we're gonna be horrible singers? Jesse, we're in this together. Fail or not, we're gonna be in this together. <laughs> I don't believe you. I will be there by your side the entire time. You promise? I promise. What would I do without you? Next up we have, oh no, Riley, Cora, and Jesse singing Wake Me Up Before You Go Go by Wham on a ukulele. That's gonna be fun. Cora? Cora, are you okay? Someone call an ambulance. Cora? Cora?
It's not my fault. It's not your fault, Jesse. No, if it wasn't for me agreeing to do that song, then maybe Cora would still be awake or okay or all right or whatever's happening. We don't know what happened. You can't blame yourself. I know we don't know what's happening. That's why I'm freaking out. Is she even alive? We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. Girls? Miss Ray, what's happening? What's wrong with her? Cora didn't want to tell you. She was too scared to tell you. Didn't want to tell us what? She's not, she can't be scared. She's never scared. She's, she's Cora. She was scared to tell you. She has throat cancer. No. 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 I'm so sorry. No, I can't be. It can't be. God, no, why did this have to happen? Why her? This can't be happening. None of this should be happening. No. Please no. Please no. Cora's awake. She wants to talk to you too. Hey Cora, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Cora, why didn't you tell us? I didn't want you to leave me, Jesse. Why would I leave you? Back in California, there was a girl, and we were digging, and I really liked her, and then I got diagnosed with cancer, and I told her, and she left me. And I love you, Jesse, and I didn't want you to leave me too. I love you, Jesse. You love me? Of course I do. You promised me to be by my side. I promise you, I won't leave you. Because I love you too. <laughs> yeah. May I just say? No, you may not. You two are freaking adorable. There you go. Now for all anyone knows, you're just wearing a hat. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate it. Anything for you. Can I see your phone for a second? Yeah, sure. Oh my god. I literally look like I'm about to go outside and do some flips on my skateboard. What? <laughs> you look fine. I look like a skater boy. Like that song. One of the few 2000 songs I actually like. So you only like music from the 20th century? I mean, all the musics today are just mindless rap. Nothing today has as much soul as it did in the... 80s, 70s, maybe even the 90s. I bet I could find you a song from after 2016 that you actually like. Oh yeah? Prove me wrong. There. How about this one? Not saying I hate it. Listen with me. I am listening. No, like, listen, listen. Grab my hands. Now close your eyes Alabama, Arkansas, and listen. It's beautiful. It's so weird. I can't even believe you already got 15 tests and 8. She said yes. Who said yes? And to what? Sophia, she said yes to coming to the spring formal with me. Uh, what's this spring formal thing? Oh, the spring formal. It's just this stupid formal dance where we all get together, people ask each other out, and it's really awkward and horrible. Why haven't you even asked me to this stupid formal dance? I mean, I didn't know if you wanted to be asked. I assumed you wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I want to go. Dang, Jessie, you're not really being a good girlfriend. Are we girlfriends? I mean, I'd like to be. Yeah, I'd like to be too. But anyways... Cora Ray, will you be so honored to go to the spring formal with me, even though I've hated it forever? Sorry, Jesse. I'm already going with friends. Oh my god, will you go with me or not? Yes, I'll go with you. I told you, this entire dance is just a bunch of mindless rap. 
No music with soul. I actually kind of like it. What makes you say that? Any time with you is time well spent. There's a slow song playing. I'm guessing you want to dance? I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing. What are we doing? Uh, dancing? You know what I mean. Cora. The doctors say it's likely I don't have another two months. Cora, please. Why do we keep doing this if we know how it's gonna end? I know what I'm getting myself into. Did you really? You never signed up for this. Cora, stop it. I've already had cancer for ten months. It's destroyed everything else. It's gonna destroy this too. Cora. I told you I wasn't gonna leave you. And I promise to be by your side. They will not break that promise. Jesse, I will stand by you. I will stay with you through all of this. Jesse, I care about you. I don't want you to feel this grief. And you're not spending your last possible two months getting over me. We're gonna spend it to the best of our abilities and we're gonna spend it together. Jesse, I care about you. I love you, Cora. And I'm not gonna let this get in the way. I will be there, through it all. So we up for Star Wars tonight at Jesse's? Always. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, get that Death Star, get it! So I quote the vine, and then no one laughs. Oh my god, when did people start forgetting vines? They're great. And then I stood up, and everyone started laughing. Like, even I snickered a little bit. It was pretty funny. It's all a little suspicious, you know? Five essays in two days, just too much. Why do all these movies have to be so sad? Why can't we just watch puppies? Jesse, Miss Ray, hi, uh, do you know where Cora is? Jesse, what? W what's wrong? She's not here. She's gone. No. No. There was nothing they could do. There was no way any of us could have known. No. 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 What? 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 I'm so sorry, Jesse. No, why? Why? Why did she have to do this? Why? Why does life always do this? No. No. What's this? That's Cora's hat. She barely ever took it off in her last months. Oh, oh no, I could never take this. No, I'm giving this to you. Uh, n no, you, you, you should have it to remember Cora by. I insist. I have an entire house to remember Cora by. Cora told me herself that she actually took it from you. We were fond of taking each other's clothes, actually. This is her jacket. I should return it. No, keep that too. I'll be fine without a couple garments of clothing. Okay. Thanks, Miss Ray. Well, I best be off. Jesse. Yeah? You meant... a lot... to Cora. I know. She meant a lot to me too. I met Cora on a blue sky day, on a day with no clouds, on a day that was perfect. No, it wasn't perfect because we didn't get any homework, and it wasn't perfect because they were serving my favorite chicken nuggets at lunch that day. It was perfect because I met her. I met the love of my life at only 15 years old, 
and I stayed with her, and she promised to always be by my side. And I returned her promise. I returned her promise even when she got really sick, and I returned it every day after. Because I loved her. I loved Cora so much. We had a beautiful life together, a perfect picture. But sometimes life has other plans. Sometimes you can do everything right and it still doesn't work out. That's what happened with me and Cora. We did everything right, and it still didn't work out. But I don't blame that. I don't think about the bad. I don't think about her dying. I think about the times we've spent together. Every moment spent together. It wasn't time wasted. And we had a beautiful time together. We had a perfect life. A perfect picture. All there was was a gray cloud in our blue sky. A gray cloud ruining our perfect picture. You have